and welcome to our new grammar lesson action and linking verbs by the end of this lesson you should be able to so let's look first at uh, the definition of a verb a verb is the main word in the predicate of a sentence of course you know that a sentence has subject and predicate the predicate starts from the verb till the end of the sentence this is the complete predicate so the verb is the main word in the predicate the verb tells what the subject of the sentence is or does so this is our lesson today if the verb tells what the subject is so the verb is a linking verb and if the verb tells what the subject does means the action that the subject does so it's an action verb so let's look at what is an action verb an action verb tells what the subject does okay so let's look at an exam at an example the class watched a video about dinosaurs uh, fossils okay so let's look here Yeah, it should be there should be um yeah a possessive yes dinosaurs or fossils okay so what where is the verb here what did the class do they or the class watched a video so this is the verb what did it does it tell an action watched yes yeah, so this is an action verb. Now, what is a linking verb? A linking verb links or joins the subject with a word or words in the predicate that tell what the subject is or is like. What the subject is or is like. So, it describes the subject. So, what is the word? How, what do we call the word that, describe, uh, that describes something or a noun? We call it an adjective. So usually you're gonna find yes. So linking verbs are forms of be. What is what are the are the forms of be? Am is are in the present, was and were in the past. So if you see any of these five verbs. These are your very, very famous five linking verbs. Of course, you know them very, very well. Yes, and now we have some other linking verbs. What are they? These might be, sometimes they are used as action, sometimes they are used as linking verbs. Become, seem, appear, feel, taste smell and look can be linking verbs so please memorize them the five linking verbs of the forms of to be and the other one two three four five six seven the other seven linking verbs that could be sometimes linking and sometimes action verbs yeah, and uh, here this is an example. The sky becomes cloudy. Now, where is the verb? It, it is becomes. So now, how do I know whether this becomes is an action or a linking verb? So simply, I can change it with one of the basic fives. Okay, so can I put is here? The sky is cloudy. Does it make sense? Yes. Is it the same meaning? Yeah, nearly the same meaning. So becomes here is a linking verb. Very well. Action verbs. Now these are two examples from your book. Here action verbs. Grandma scrubs the wooden floor. Scrubs like cleans. We pump water. So we have scrubs. This is an action, very obvious, and pump is another action. 
Okay, what about the linking verbs? The bread smells wonderful. So I have here smells, which is a linking verb. How do I know it's a linking verb? If I can change it with one of the to be verbs, is for example, the bread is wonderful. Yes, makes sense. Okay, and now here he is hungry. Now this is the very famous linking verb. Yeah, very well. So l let's look here at something new, a predicate nominative. So what is a predicate nominative? This is the word is a noun or a pronoun that follows a linking verb and identifies or explains the subject. So it's also um, a noun but it modifies or identifies the subject. Sarah's bro brother was the leader on his team. So here the word leader uh, identifies the brother. And here I have an action and a linking verb, very obvious one. So leader here is called a predicate nominative. Predicate nominative. So what is the predicate nominative? It's a, the noun or the pronoun after the linking verb in the sentence and it identifies the subject or explains the subject. So let's look at some exercises. Write A if the underlined word is an action verb and write L if it is the underlined word is a linking verb and write pn uh, if the underlined word is a predicate nominative so the first one the apples were crunchy here were is one of the five verbs five uh, forms of verb to be am um, is are was and were so it's a linking verb number two we serve the bread with fresh butter so we look at serve does it tell an action yeah does it tell what the uh, the subject um uh, the subject here the subject does uh, yes is it one of the five or seven verbs linking verbs that we have learned no so i have here uh, an action verb number three erica is their neighbor so now i have here neighbor is a noun it's not a verb at all so i have to look at the predicate nominative is there a linking verb it must be a linking verb yes so it identifies erica as a neighbor so we have a predicate nominative and number four hot coals heat the iron here heat is a verb uh, does it tell an action yes of course is it one of the uh, linking verbs no so it's an action verb number five erica became impatient with the boys okay there must be a period at the end erica became here i have to think of the verb became is it a linking or an action verb okay so first of all i can change it with was and read reread the sentence and see if it makes sense erica was impatient with the boys yes it makes sense it has a meaning so this is a linking verb Now underline the action uh, verb and circle each linking verb. So the linking verb circle it and the action verb underline. Okay, so number six, we passed the hot bread around the table. So passed is the verb. Now what is it? Action or linking? Yes, it's an action verb. Okay, number seven, Matthew is hungry. And the supper smells delicious. I have here two verbs. Is and the smells. Here, is is a linking verb. Very, very obvious. What about smells? Smells is one of the verbs that we should test first. Supper smells delicious. Can I say supper is delicious? Yes. So smells is a linking verb. And is also. Number eight. Farmers used every part of the corn plant. So I have here, where is the verb? Yes, used. What is used? Action or linking? Yes, a linking verb. Amy feel, 
feels sad about the death of the chicken. So feels the verb. What is it? Can I change it with is because it's in the present? Feels is in the present. So Amy is sad about the death. So I have here another linking verb. Number eight, Jay feels the hot sun on his face. Can I change feel here with is also like the previous example? Jay is the hot sun on his face. Can I say Jay is the hot sun? No, so I cannot say this. So feel here is a, an action verb. So let's consider here the rest of the uh, sentences number 11 erica was ready for her chores now i guess that was is very obvious as a linking verb the boys worked steadily until sunset i have worked is the verb now what is it linking or action yeah it's a linking verb number 13 the stranger at the farm looked suspicious so i have here this is a linking verb uh, so this is the verb looked can i change it with uh were or the form looked so was yes can i change it with was let's us read the sentence again the stranger at the farm was suspicious does it make sense was suspicious yes so this is a linking verb Okay, number 14, the oven seemed hot enough, so Sarah shoved the bread in. So I have here two verbs, because I have a complex sentence. Uh, the oven seemed, so seemed here, can I change it with uh, was, because it's in the past. The oven was hot enough, does it make sense? The oven was hot enough, yes, so, oh, sorry. So seemed is a linking verb and shoved of course is not all these verbs that we memorize. So shoved is <clears throat> an action verb. So thank you uh, for now and if you have any questions please post them in the discussion room or email me and see me in the DCR. Thank you so much and see you.